you there. Do you want to know what the price is? This or this or this in Australia? Keep watching to find out. Many people keep asking me, what's the price of food in Australia? How much do you spend per week? Is Australia expensive? There are so many questions, but I have an answer for you. Okay, so here's my answer. First, let's start with where to shop. The major Australian supermarkets are Woolworths or Woolies, Coles, Aldi, and IDA. But Coles and Woolworths are the biggest ones. You will always find a Coles or a Woolies in any Australian suburb, at least in the major cities. Of course, apart from supermarkets, there are other grocery stores where you can go to, such as farmers markets, where you can get more organic food, organic vegetables, and more artisan kind of products. The only thing with these markets is that they they're not as accessible as supermarkets. However, once you're here, I highly recommend checking them out because they're a great way to support smaller farmers. And also it's a nice day out with family and friends. So yeah, check them out. Other grocery stores that you can go to are convenience stores such as 7-Eleven. For example, if you run out of milk and a 7-Eleven is your closest store, you can go there and grab that meal. They're mainly good for emergencies or if you want something very quick to eat, but I wouldn't recommend going to 7-Elevens or convenience stores just for your weekly grocery shopping because they're much more expensive than supermarkets. The second question that people always ask me is, is Australia expensive? And my answer is, it depends. Why do I say it depends? Because your opinion on whether food in Australia is expensive depends on the country you're coming from. I know that there are many countries where basic staples and vegetables are very, very cheap. So if you're coming from one of those countries, Australia will probably seem a bit expensive. Bear in mind, however, that salaries here in Australia are really good so you will be able to afford your groceries and cover your basic costs. This leads me to the third question that people are always asking me. How much will I be spending on food per week or per month? Look, according to government data, the average Australian household spends between $100 and $200 on groceries per week. Take this with a pinch of salt though because at the end of the day, we all have different tastes, different lifestyles, and we all buy different products. Also bear in mind that the price of products can be a bit different depending on the state or even city you live in. So here is my tip. The best way to know how much money you will be spending on your weekly grocery shopping is to calculate these costs yourself. How? Internet. Oh my God. You can jump online to one of the supermarkets websites that I just mentioned and build your own shopping cart. How do you do that? Let me show you. So if you want to build your own shopping cart, you type in Woolworths Supermarket Australia, you click on Woolworths, um, you're going to search your product, for example, oat milk, and you can add to cart. All right. so. You've added it to the cart. Then, if you eat tomatoes, you can search for tomatoes. And here, tomatoes will pop up. These ones are 49 cents each. Add to cart. You can choose a quantity. So, I want four. That's good. So, view cart. Now it's updated. And it doesn't have to be only food. You can put toilet paper. And now you have the price of toilet paper. And you add it to your cart. So, now your cart is $16. So, 
think about your expenses and the products that you like to consume in your country and see if you can use the same shopping list that you use when you are at home and this way you can calculate how much you will need it's that easy so as you can see here you have an amazing tool to know how much money you will be spending how much are groceries in australia you can build your own car yeah this is an amazing tool so i highly recommend using it also i take the prices at the physical store to make sure that the prices that are given online are accurate and here i took a photo of the oat milk at the physical store and as you can see it's exactly the same price as the one online so again the prices are pretty accurate so it will give you a really good idea and if you think that these prices are a bit too much or too expensive remember that when you're here you're going to have a salary most likely you're going to be working and you're going to be able to afford all your basic costs and your food and you're not going to have any issues with that however if you're really struggling to afford food for whatever reason when you're here in Australia I have a tip for you the Australian government offers food assistance programs where you can access free meals and food all across the country these are programs especially targeted at international students who might be struggling for whatever reason for example during the pandemic I'll leave you the link below these food assistance programs are called food banks and they are very useful and they have been very very useful during the pandemic and during these very tough times for everyone okay so this is all for now so that's all for today i hope these tips help you to get started in your journey to come to australia this is a question that many people have been asking me about and hopefully it's of some use to you and if you like this video please subscribe i have lots of content coming up and leave a comment below if you would like me to cover any other topics i've been living here for seven years and it's been a journey and hopefully i can help you with that ciao